the first question comes is why to have a line chart right so let me give you an example let's say here you have the data this is nothing but the stock price for three companies and that is given uh, by the time right now if you want to analyze or observe how the prices stock prices of ibm have changed by the time right what has been the trend how would you analyze that it's gonna be really difficult to look at each of the values and say whether it was increasing or decreasing and that too you can only see for ibm if you have to see for intel again you need to scroll down a lot and it's gonna be really difficult when it is to analyze when it is changing and when it is sorry when it is growing and when it is fall, fall, falling okay so for that purpose if you can get a view which looks something like this it's going to be very easy for you to see and analyze the thing for example if you see in uh, uh, in in 1999 there was a spike for all of these three companies right and after that there was fall and you can see the trend of all of these three companies at the same time right if you want to move to certain other days you can also if you want to move to the day uh, years you can also do that right if you want to have whole picture at the same time you can do that as well right so it's gonna the line graph is going to make it very simple for you to analyze the things timely trend rather you can say or pattern by the time it 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 shows a very clear view of pattern by the time right so what you see over here is the stock price pattern for the three companies which is ibm intel and microsoft now let me take you to this tab and help you understand how you can create this for example so for that to, uh, to create the line graph what you need to do is go on visualization pane and here you got the line chart just click on that now comes to put the data into it and for that i have date given over here and then the closing price so i'm just going to put it over here now here I got my line chart created but what I see is only one line right because this is showing the price of all the three companies on overall level so I want to split it further so I just need to put this thing over here click this thing over here or maybe if you want you can what you can do is you take this stock price and put it into the legends now you're gonna see all these three things over here isn't it now the once this is done you can see the things coming over you can see the things clearly very clearly over here right now if you want to make adjustment of the uh, dates you can do that as well if you, uh, you you see over here now if you want to see by years only you can just remove all of the rest of the things and this is by year only if you want to include all of these things you can keep all of them if you want to remove year and see it by quarter month and day only that you can also do notice the values at x axis right how it is changing right so this is how you can play around with a line chart right and it makes your uh, visualization or analytical work really simple now let's just have a look a quick look on uh, you know how can we make some sort of modification the kind of zooms zoom slider you saw now when you come over here you have many options you can edit the x axis title y axis title etc now i'll quickly take you to the zoom slider on the visualization tab itself you can see over here the zoom slider is given now I don't want this zoom slider you can see this slider is available on X and Y both axis I don't need it on Y axis so I can just switch it off from the Y axis all right this is done now after that if I need to just focus on by the level of month and year you see I can see that as well now if I want to focus on certain specific period of time that I can also do right you see over here now you see how the year is changing over here now if you want to analyze this part only you can just or just the zooming on that part itself and then you can see the things how it is changing you see so this is how you can play around with a line chart other than there are many visual options you can play around that one of the more important thing which i want to show you is this right so if you see over here here if you 
here if you see all of the all of the stock price stock price for all of the three companies are showing right over here now if you want to see it for a specific company for example microsoft so you can see it uh, you can see that the microsoft is highlighted in blue but rest of the things are gray how can you create this kind of visualization with the line chart that you can also do let me show you very quickly how can you do that first this is not a rocket science and there isn't any option specifically given for this purpose you need to put your creativity into that so let's create the first graph which is uh, as simple as what we created on the first tab i'm just going to put all of these things over here and the stock right i got this part now let me just bring it over here few of the modifications which i will formatting which i will do over here is i'll go in visualization and i'm going to hide the y axis i don't require it secondary y axis i don't require it listen i don't require it and what else this looks good i'll try to make the lines little thicker right so i'll go in lines and from here I, i'm going to you see stroke width over here so i'll just increase the stroke width stroke width little bit okay now this looks pretty much well next thing which comes is creating the slicer so i'll just take this slicer over here and in this slicer the value which i require is stock price and for that uh, the format i need to change this is showing as a list now i need to make it as a tile so what i need to do is i would have my slicer selected and I, in the visualization pane i need to come on this format and slicer setting from here i need to choose tile and then after that i need to make adjustment of this let me make it like this all right and then in the values i'm going to change the size of it you see i'm just going to make it a little big 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 and i'll make it bold now this is it okay now after this i need to i need to have this in gray color right so how can i do that so for that first of all let's focus over here if you choose any of the tile it is showing the stock price for that tile only right so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to see for all of these three now this tie uh, this slicer is nothing but the uh, but the filter itself now there is one option which you see over here stock i i don't want to see this so over here i'll come and slicer header i'll just switch it off the slicer header now i got only this right and let me just make it like this now after that what i need to do is i require to make this kind of effect right oops this kind of effect so for that what i need to do is first of all i need to change the color of the uh, color of the lines okay i need to make it look gray so for that i need to go in visuals and then over here in the line style line color in the lines i must get the option to change the color yeah here we got the color now from here i need to choose this this is too light let me make it look a little darker this is still i'll choose this okay now from here also i'll choose the same color from here also i'll choose the same color now what i see is all the three are in same color hmm? next thing which i need to do is i need to make a copy of this okay for my better understanding what i'll do is i'll create uh, the borders also right i'll go in general in the effect i'll put the borders also visual border so that it will be easy for me to check it up uh, check the boundary of it right now you see the next thing uh, whenever i click on this it is changing the uh, filter of this line right so what i need let me first make a copy of this okay i'll just make a copy of this so copy done after this what i need to do is on this part i need to put the color right line color so i'll again go back to the visuals and in the lines i'm going to choose the color so line color i will pick the same color for all of these three lines done and then after that what i need to make is what i need to do is i need to play with the background okay plot not plot area background let's go over here in the effects so you see over here background i just need to make it transparent all right this is done now there is one more part if you click on any of the option you see the filter is getting applied on both of the chart i need to i need to have this 
the in a way that filter gets applied on this chart which has which is in blue but not on the chart which is in gray so for that first of all let me remove the filter at all and then what i'll do is i'll go on format and in the format first of all i need to select a chart oops sorry please bear with me in in the format here you see edit interaction right on this after selecting this i need to go on this select the filters select the slicers and then what i need to do is i need to just say none okay that is done now let me just put it on this all right okay now if i choose this what's gonna happen you see how it is happening so the things are changing for one but not oh, you see only for microsoft it is changing wherever it is microsoft it is showing in blue and for rest of the them it is showing in gray so this is how you can play around it and you can add more formatting but this is something which was really interesting right you can play more around it and if you want to add any other uh, effect into it you use this visuals uh, use this pen effectively and extensively you're gonna make it really more interesting i hope that it was simple for you to understand just in case of any doubt put that into the comment section and i'll definitely try to help you out thank you very much for watching this wish you very good luck